story. Uh, so my name is Adam Catchman. Uh, I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan. Now I live in Portland uh, for the past 11 years. I've been riding uh, seriously since I was about 17 and uh, been racing since 2013 now. Most recently I worked for myself as a photographer um, and after 15 years working for other people that's definitely the best part of my job. So with gravel I think the the thing that's drawn me to it the most is that it's the one form of cycling where there's still room for change and growth. Gravel is so respectively young compared to other sports, especially when you compare it to road riding. I love the diversity. It's great to be here. Seeing the people have been the best thing so far. My name is Leland. I am Christy Mem. My name is Yuri Hauswald. I'm Xander Alt. Marley Blonsky. Heidi Rentz. I am co-founder and chef of the Cyclist Menu. Unbound Gravel Marketing Manager. I'm a sustainability professional for a logistics company. I am the director for Visit Emporium. I am the elite athlete manager for Goo Energy Lab. Own and operate the cyclist menu. It's gonna be fast and flowing and fun. You're gonna love it. Gravel cycling is for everybody. Uh, by no means is adventuring outdoors in beautiful places. Anyone can feel comfortable in a gravel family circle. Yeah, I think, I think gravel can feel more inclusive. It doesn't always, but I think it can because it's hard for everyone. It's the shared passion for being out on the road or the gravel road. Um, I'm from Northern California, so, uh, you know, I ha hadn't had a, a, a firsthand experience with Midwestern hospitality. That shit's real. Like, I felt it my first year here. Like, the Midwestern hug and embrace and welcoming nature and encouraging, like, it was it was real and it, it, it hooked me and I've been back ever since. Came out here, I mean, you, you come through Emporia and it's, it's definitely a small Midwest town. You know, I can only imagine the impact that this has for a relatively small town that, you know, is, has a lot to offer on the recreation side. Like the roads, those gravel roads that we've explored are, are really incredible. And the people have been warm and welcoming. Three, two, one. The decision to come out here was really made out of curiosity, knowing a lot of people who have done the event, knowing uh, you know the the legendary stories about the finishes, and having that curiosity, um, and taking my background with transitioning cyclocross racing into doing these long grueling winter rides. It was mainly just like an exploratory experience and I just figured if I wanted to have an opinion about an event I should probably ride it. I had a lot of goals to keep myself in check racing with such a gnarly injury. Reseparated my shoulder which was an old injury that had healed uh, and I so it's just kind of free floating now. And I knew that it was gonna be a challenge to encounter during the event, especially because of the duration. That was probably one of the darkest places I've been on a bike. And I rode the vast majority of the last three and a half, nearly four hours one-handed. I uh, just kind of cradled my arm like a sling like in my lap and rode my right hand on the bars, put it back on for the descents and take it back off. So I was either kind of cradled or had it back and I was riding with my head tilted over to alleviate pressure. At a certain point, I just started staring at my front wheel and I don't know who passed me. I don't know who I passed. I, that last four hours was a, a blur of focus and also trying to not be focused on anything just to get through it. Um, one of the hardest experiences on the bike for, for sure. The funniest part of the race to me was drinking an entire bottle full of pickle juice. 
like just straight raw dog pickle juice. That was, and, and enjoying it, like looking forward to it. I think in any other setting, if you said, hey, drink 24 ounces of pickle juice, most people would be like, don't do that. I was like, that pickle juice was everything. So I would say that that this this weekend and this race um, is, is everything you think it is and everything you don't think it is. And it'll be the unexpected things that make it memorable. So Emporia was really at a turning point about 20 years ago. Um, there was a high vacancy rate downtown. Um, there was a movement to start to kind of revitalize the downtown, but Unbound Gravel started 15 years ago and was a key catalyst in uh, you know, driving economy to a community that was not known for tourism prior. And so the event itself has been crucial in assisting in the revitalization and the growing pride in Emporia that you see today. Well, I think um, we got we got lucky when this event started in 2006. Um, our our founders, um, Jim and Joel, um, saw something special in the Flint Hills, and um, with that, you know, the very first time the event happened, I think there were only two Emporia riders that were in it, and now we'll have upwards of 400 people participating in, participating in an event like Unbound from the community. So it's really grown the gravel cycling community here, and I think that has extend, extended beyond just Emporia. I'm a little overwhelmed by everything that was going on. So like, there was the bike ride component, of course, which was awesome and super fun, but there was also just like the whole community aspect to it that I just wasn't expecting. Um, the whole town turned out for it. Um, it's amazing to see so many different types of people feel comfortable out there enjoying themselves. Um, I think Emporia is, is very special um, because of the region, because of the size of the community. We have a lot of things that, that are, we have going for us. You know, we had the right people, the right place, the right time, um, and, and pretty much struck gold with that. participant, you're going to experience every range of human emotion. You're going to feel terrible at some point, you're going to feel amazing at some point. Um, what I can say is nothing lasts forever. And so when you do arrive at that finish line, having felt all of that range of emotions, usually the response is tears. And it's usually tears of joy and happiness for being done. Um, but there's a, a huge rush of emotion when you cross that finish line.